Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, an EDC light, Everyday Carry. This is the HX5 from Coast. Now, this is a store-bought light. So every once in a while, I like to go into Lowe's and Home Depot and uh, Target and Walmart and just hunt around and see what kind of deals we can have on uh, standard everyday stuff that doesn't involve high intensity LEDs and normal stuff. So that's what I did today when I was out looking for a leaf blower for some projects. Uh, this coast has its own little battery. This is an AA light. So it's a single AA light and it's a zoomy at that. Now I've been looking over these and seeing what kind of deals I could get. And I go through the usual uh, eliminators. Uh, first of all, eliminate all the multi-modes, eliminate all the ones, especially with flashies. Look for stuff that is pocketable, that uses everyday batteries, because of course we're going to a normal store. We're not going to, to find a hobbyist light. Of course, you can see here what I did. I had to take my, my uh, Tonto blade knife and chop off this top because thanks to society and the way it's going, people steal things. And uh, as a result, the packaging is much more difficult to get there. I had to cut it open. But uh, here's the light. Uh, it's advertised as a pure focus beam, uh, HX5. This is a really nice light. And it has a two-way clip, which is one of the coolest things about this. That means for those of you who are not uh, consuming enough of the flashaholic Kool-Aid, that is a uh, way to refer to it as a, a ball cap light. You can put it on the front of your ball cap and have a forward going light and you zoom it out as we're gonna demonstrate and you're going to have a, uh, a light that you can use in every, average uh, camping situations. And then of course you have the standard, the standard feature which you can use on the side of your leg. Pretty nice. Now we get very liberal with our uh, our use of the term EDC and we start using it to describe jacket pocket lights and different things. This is an actual EDC because it disappears in your hand. It is a true small light. And uh, when you consider these, how awesome these are, notice this tail stands. It actually tail stands and because of the nice clip, it acts as its own anti-roll device. It is a short in out with uh, very good output. I'm really loving the output. It has a great beam ratio, and we're gonna demonstrate that in a minute. It is on off, and it has super light, uh, light powered uh, momentary on, which is one of the most amazing things. I don't really like 1AA lights. One, because you don't get much throw, but two, because you don't get much output. This is a great compromise because it uses what looks to be a uh, uh, XPG3, or I'm not really sure, but uh, it's a very warm tinted, cool tint, so it is actually, a, it looks to me to be a good deal. Uh, but you, you wanna wait for a light like this to be able to go and get it when you really don't have any of your higher items. So let's say you're out and you don't wanna wait a day or two for an Amazon delivery and you really want something that is a nice light. This is a good light to add to your collection in that, uh, in that uh, spirit of things. Uh, One-handed slide focus, two-way clip. Now here's the, here's the breakdown. Uh, it is 168 lumens, my eyes are getting bad, 168 lumens on an alkaline cell, a NIMH cell, nickel metal hydride will give you 125, I'm surprised it's less, and then you have a 360 lumen output max on your uh, uh, 14500 cell, which if you use, you'll get, you'll turn this thing into a more upgraded uh, pocket rocket style performer but you don't need to. You got 130 meters potential output. To me, this looks to be a much more useful thrower than something that was rated higher. I'm really liking the beam ratio. I'm liking what this light can do, but I like how they have all three performance stats on there for people like uh, Flashaholics who want to do more. So here's the front of the package, and uh, I'm trying a new camera setup today, hoping it'll be a little bit more stable during these videos. But uh, this is a great little torch for when you are uh, making your way through the week and you decide that you want something 
um, that is available right then and there and you're not in the habit or ready to wait for something to be delivered. So this is a, it's a great light. I really do like it. And again, there is so very little available that is uh, worth having in the 1AA section. But this is something you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot or anywhere you can get Coast products. And uh, you can find something that's actually worthy of being added to your collection. So let's take it outside. does not need oxygen. I'm sorry. It's it's hydrogen atoms slamming into one another. They degrade into um, uh, helium and they uh, emit photons. I'm sorry. It's energy in the basement yeah. theory. I mean, right. technically... looks in real life with like what you see here. Katie. It's a pretty mean spill, isn't it? That thing wicked goes out there. No ugly artifacts, just a little butter, butterscotch yellow uh, flavoring in the mostly cool white bean. I really like these XPG style uh, emitter colors. it's not a thrower but damned if it doesn't throw within what is you know maybe 70 60 70 meters of you really well it's actually throwing across the street pretty well Katie what are you doing We have uh, some big rain coming here tomorrow. We have, uh, we're have we looking to get a foot of rain here in the Houston area. And rain is a thing we are used to contending with. But uh, this is supposed to be uh, pretty mean. Now what you're seeing there in the trees, yeah, it's just barely touching. I can see a little bit less than that, but not much. It's, these shots are close to, really close to accurate. That's full throw right there. So it's useful to about a hundred, hundred or so feet. Pretty dang good for just a 1AA cigar style thrower. Just push it back and I've got full, very work worthy flood.
really impressed with this little guy. I don't care whether it's a glove box light or a pocket light or side pocket. This is one of those lights you go to to use to work because it's so dang small and yet you enjoy using it and you get a lot of use out of it. And when you get near or under that 180 lumen mark, you get out of toy territory and back into what we used to consider work territory. There was a day when 75 lumens was considered a lot of lumens. Those of you in your 20s probably aren't aware of that. There was a time when that was considered a tactical light with 75 lumens was a hot shot. 120 was even crazy. This is 168. And because of the increases in efficiency of our emitters, we are able to uh, get something like a 1AA to power something really well with enough efficiency that it doesn't generate heat, none to speak of, and it's actually useful in terms of its capabilities to, uh, to be an impressive torch. It doesn't matter how much I mess with these cats. Um, they, they still cannot be convinced. They have to watch you all the time because they're wild. They, they cannot be convinced that you're not going to hurt them. Crazy. Here we go. It's a really good, efficient use of your, your alkaline battery. And of course, you don't need uh, to go high power with this. You don't need to drop in a, a 14500 uh, because then you're getting back into hotshot territory. And uh, the idea is to appreciate these for their niche, or rather not niche, but to pragmatic use. You want to appreciate them for being handy and useful in situations when you need a light, but you don't need you don't need to have to worry about heat. You don't need to have to worry about uh, losing them. You don't need to have to worry about uh, giving them getting them stolen. This is just uh, a really sweet light because it's it's a no frills work light that you can change a tire with. You can. Uh, and you can play with it if you want to. If you want to jump up around that 400 lumen mark, 360, whatever they said it was, you can definitely uh, do that, but you don't need to. You can enjoy lesser amounts of light. All right. Y'all have a good one. Stay dry.